Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 80 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. And this time we are going to save our order products in order underscore products table. Okay, last time we have seen that we able to add orders details in orders table. Okay, and there uh, were some issues that we have resolved as well and able to add the coupon code and coupon amount as well. Okay, so uh, now we need to add order products. Okay, so right now i'm going to make this one empty once again because uh, we will make fresh order so i am going to make empty uh, orders table as well order product is all already empty because we have not added any order so uh, means we have not added any details so far that we are going to do in this video and here also i'm going to see order view page once again okay see you can visit your order view page, add some products in your card, okay? Apply some coupon and you can reach order view page as well. And see, now, now for this one, uh, here in this one, we are going to uh, add the products that the user going to order. And the products we will do in for it, like if there is uh, two, there are two orders that uh, two products that the user is going to order that, then we are going to fill this table, uh, means column of the table two times, means uh, we, like, we will uh, loop through for each loop we will use, and uh, from card table, we, going, we are going to pick the uh, products that the user going to order, okay? From the card table, first, it, it is going to save in card table that we already know, that we are saving the products in card table with the user email. So we will pick from here. Here I'm using this ID. So we are going to pick this one first two uh, from the card table. And these two, we are going to save uh, in our order underscore products table. Then two entries will come here. Okay. So let's start working on this one. So uh, in part 80, of ecom series uh, we are going to uh, okay yeah, we are going to work on order placement process once again and this time we are going to save order products order products uh, into orders underscore products table Okay, means, means, means the products that the user going to order. Okay, so let's uh, update the place order function. Yes, place order function and uh, this time we are going to save uh, order underscore product uh, table. Okay. Okay. Now, see, uh, we are going to update uh, place order function in production controller once again. and save order underscore products detail in order underscore products table. Okay, so uh, we will loop, we'll use for each loop uh, and we'll pick all the products from the card table that the user has added earlier and save them one by one in orders on a couple table okay so we are going to now do this thing okay so let's start see after saving this one here so 
uh, and one major thing that we require we first need to fetch the order id because uh, order id after saving the order details the order id we need to save here in order and scope products so the order id we need to fetch the id that we are using here this id we need to fetch and save in order product so uh, we need to search in google and you will get very easily the code like last insert id in laravel last insert id in laravel okay so you can check the last insert id in laravel and you can find i've already used got the code and this is the code uh, for getting the last insert id from the previous table okay so we can get like this order id after saving the order we get the order id uh, from this table okay from this command okay so this one we also require okay uh, after saving order details we require to save order id in order underscore products table and that we will get from below syntax okay this one you can get like this okay so and after that uh, we will uh, going to uh, fetch the card products okay like i have told earlier like card products we need to fetch and this one can to fetch from the card table and this card we are user email we are already having already having user email already uh, added user email and get um, this okay sorry yeah now we will use get because that can be multiple products okay so just you need to get the card products and then after getting it we just need to use for it now to save the uh, in our order product table dollar pro like this and that this so here we can add another variable like card pro and here new now the model name will come order product so like this product so and first of all id is required so we need to save id order id order id sorry order id is required so order id we need to save id is order data so that we no need to save so order id we can have like this okay so after this one and this and then user id user id is required so user id we can uh, we have also got last time user id so we just simply save user id as well okay so after user id uh product id the product we are ordering for product id we can get it like so like this okay so we are using here we need to get like this and now all other fields we need to get okay like this product id of product id product code product name product color product size product price product
product quantity but quantity there we need to see in car table uh, and here as well it is product order scope qpy and in car table it must be i think product order scope uh, quantity so quantity alone it is okay so can have quantity and another column also we need to check once uh, we need to have that same name here as well see here it is price 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 we need to add only price here and size also we need to add like this uh product color product code product name that is fine product ID. okay and after quantity hold on okay yeah so we just need to say like this okay so now uh we have done like this so now we can check and we can now see that it's fine or not so we can refresh now so we can refresh here and now we can place the order i am going to select cod and we'll click on place order and we'll see now and it's done and now we are going to see first i'm going to see orders table okay orders table is having all the information fine okay and now i'm going to check order scope products and two columns must be there two rows must be there sorry see two rows are there because two orders two products we have done see order id is fine this is the first order it is fine and one two is fine user id is also fine product id 9 and product id 11 so all the product detail is coming fine in our orders underscore products table so we able to get the product underscore orders table now uh, so uh, we have now added products also in order underscore products table okay uh, that the user has ordered for okay so now no issue has come everything seems to be fine okay and uh, uh, now in next video uh, we will also define the relation between the order and order in product table that we require in future uh, but before that we will also show the thanks page like both uh, the orders had been added now now it is this process is complete as far as the database is concerned but uh, we need to here then redirect after doing this we need to redirect uh, this uh, page to means to thanks page or means redirect to thanks page uh, with the message that your order has been placed your order id is this much and your order amount is this much and Along with that, we will also send email SMS later on in this series. But right now, uh, in next video, we will try to finish the COD process at all, means COD order. Then after that, we will also show this order in admin panel, and we will also show this order in user my account, so that user can check his account and can see the his order details that he has placed. So these things we will also do in next few videos. So uh, in next video, uh, we will work on thanks page uh, and uh, we'll show the user that his order has been placed. Been placed. Okay. Uh, and in next few videos yes, we will show order details in user my account and also in admin panel as well so that the admin, admin can purchase the order further So stay tuned next video.
सर्च करवा दूँ ओके सो आई होप एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर अप टिल दिस वन एंड द इश्यूज दैट वी हैव रिजॉल्व्ड इन लास्ट वीडियो दैट आर द क्रिशल इशू दैट वी नीड टू रिजॉल्व एंड मच मोर इफ एनी ऑफ यू गाइज मीन्स फॉर एनी इशू दैन लेट मी नो दैट वी नीड टू रिजॉल्व साइड बाई साइड अदरवाइज इशूज विल कम लेटर ऑन सो दैट ऑल फॉर नाउ है